Hey guys, this is Jacob with eTrailer. Before investing in a solar setup, you've probably wondered how the battery type that you pick out is going to affect how your solar system operates. Now there's gonna be four major battery types. You're gonna look at AGM, which is absorbent glass mat batteries, lead acid batteries, lithium ion batteries, or gel batteries. And we're going to today take a look at the belief that those battery types significantly impact your solar performance. And we're actually gonna take a look at what they do impact. So first we're gonna go over a brief overview of how your solar setup works. You can think of your batteries in your RV kind of like a gas tank for your vehicle. And these solar panels are designed to fill up that gas tank. These are not gonna connect directly to your appliances like they would in a residential setup. Your battery capacity is gonna be extremely important in determining what you can run. The big takeaway here is that the type of battery doesn't matter nearly as much for your solar panels as it does for your solar controller. Uh, that's why you'll notice that on our solar calculator, we ask you what type of battery you're using. And this is to make sure that we get you a solar controller recommendation that's compatible with both of your batteries and your solar panels. The solar controller is gonna play a very important role. It's going to control the voltage rate and the amps that do go into your battery. And that's going to help prevent overcharging and going to keep your batteries running better long term. So as a bit of a pro tip in the middle of a sunny day, it's not really going to matter what kind of battery that you have. They're all going to stay topped off pretty much the same because your solar panels are going to be feeding them that energy. Where it is going to matter, however, is when you're looking at a cloudy day or potentially using your appliances overnight because lead acid batteries and absorbent glass mat batteries, for example, can only be discharged to about 50% before you start seeing a decrease in battery life and a damage to the longevity overall. Whereas something like a lithium ion battery can be almost completely discharged and not see any damage to the longevity of the battery whatsoever. So the best solution to this is we would suggest having an extra day of battery capacity in your setup. So for example, if you normally go camping for two days and you use about 100 amp hours a day, we would suggest a setup with 300 total amp hours of power. And what this does is this allows you to have a full extra day of energy in the event that one of the days is overcast or you're trying to use your appliances at night. All right, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope this helped clear up a little bit of misconceptions about RV battery types as they relate to solar. If you have any specific, or if you need any specific recommendations, we encourage you to check out our solar calculator on our website. Or if you'd like to get into the fine print of what makes each battery different from one another, we do have a video about that as well. So thank you guys so very much for watching and take care. All right guys, if you thought that was helpful, click up here to see another one of our videos. Click down here to subscribe to our channel and see all of our videos. Click up here to check out a product that we talk about in our videos and click down here to see another one of our playlists about the topic you just watched. Thanks a lot and take care.